She's a total train wreck. And by the way, I looked at her this morning. She had a little news conference. It lasted for like two minutes. She's exhausted. You know? She's exhausted. She's a train wreck who is totally unqualified to be the President of the United States of America. There are some people who thrive under pressure, and there are some people who crack under pressure. She's a cracker. And the more pressure Kamala, the more pressure Kamala has, the more you see it happening. <laughs> well there you go welcome back guys welcome back man oh man we are down to the final few days of the election and some people are starting to see it now they see the writings on the wall something about donald trump right he's an icon he's a cultural icon meaning what he's doing is really bigger than him you know i voted for America, not just Donald Trump. I voted for America to be great again. The people that voting for the other side, they're voting against Trump, not for the candidate. You can ask anybody out here, why are you voting for Kamala? Just, you know, without saying the word Trump, they can't do it. It's always, well, Trump is a racist. Trump is a homophobe. Trump said Haiti is a shithole country. I don't care about that. Why are you voting for Kamala? And they cannot articulate that. Who are you voting for in 2024, Trump or Kamala Harris? Kamala Harris. Why? Because he's a dangerous man. Anything he says is nonsense. I think he's an idiot. To protect democracy, to protect the country. We've got to vote for somebody other than Trump. Why would you not vote for Trump? I can't stand any of his policies. I think he is quite possibly the worst person in American public life. I frankly can't believe uh, why anyone would want to vote for him. Who are you voting for in 2024, Trump or Kamala Harris? Kamala Harris. Why? I will not let Trump back in the office because he is not a good president. That nigga, provi uh, that nigga provided Corona and some more shit. What else did he do? A lot. Trump didn't know what he was doing. Trump caused a lot of problems. And J.D. Vance just got here. He is an unaccomplished individual. You ask me, why are you voting for Trump? And I could go, boom, 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 boom. No tax on tips. No tax on Social Security. No tax on overtime. And he's flirting with the idea of no income tax. It's the most beautiful word. This country can become rich with the use, the proper use of tariffs. It'll Did keep you just companies. float out the idea of getting rid of income taxes and replacing it with tariffs? Well, okay. Were you serious about that? Our, yeah, sure. But why not? If they can pull this off and there's no income tax on the American workers, that'll be the end of the Democrats. Because now you have nothing to run on. You cannot use that... Um, tax the rich statement anymore. You cannot use that anymore. One of the things is I'm going to make sure that the richest among us who can afford it pay their fair share in taxes. It is not right that teachers and nurses and firefighters are paying a higher tax rate than billionaires and the biggest corporations. But, and but, I plan on making that fair. If Donald Trump could pull this off, no income tax, it's game over for the Democrats because you have no platform now. You have no device to use to wedge the American people. Trump's proposal, he wants us to be richer by reducing taxes. She wants us to be poor because she wants to increase taxes. She's always saying what most Marxists say, tax the rich. Well, she's not the brightest. I mean, she's maybe a smart attorney, but the rich don't pay taxes because we're smart. Exactly as Trump says. Now, here's an example of a culture icon. Halloween just came by, and the biggest costume out there was Donald Trump. Now, look at the examples here. Look at these, <laughs> look at these kids dressed up like Donald Trump. This one here, I think, is my favorite. Look at this one here. The kids, the Secret Service, they all got their hats. Even T Pain, T Pain is out here during a concert imitating Trump. Folks, frankly, quite frankly, and unfortunately, 
They couldn't let in the other 100,000 people that were trying to get in. I appreciate everyone that got to the front of the line. I heard it was pandemonium. You've never seen anything like it before. Not only that, we have all these people dressed up in garbage bags. Garbage, folks. Thank you, Biden. We have this young lady in California went to vote in a trash bag, which is not against the law, but she did it. So I just went and voted right around the corner from my house here in California. And I pull up, I take my little hat off, but I don't take my garbage bag off. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. I am in the most liberalist state probably out the whole damn union okay california is pretty blue here okay why everybody showing up in their trash bags the lady was like i guess you're not going to tell me why you have a trash bag on either huh and i looked at her and i looked at everybody and everybody looked at me like you better not say nothing i ain't saying nothing you gonna have to google it lady why we all wear trash bags Now, let's talk about Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, yesterday, she had three events and she got heckled at all three. On the other hand, Donald Trump's answer to financial pressures is for you to face the same deal. And I pledge to you, I will listen to experts. I will listen to those impacted by the decisions I make and to people who disagree with me. This is the thing, because we know we're actually fighting for a democracy. There's a difference here, moving forward. Moving forward, understand the difference here. What we are looking at is a difference in this election. Let's move forward and see where we are. Because on the issue, for example, of freedom of choice, So you see the enthusiasm is on this side. Trump is surging in the polls, in the bet nods, everywhere. And Kamala, well, Kamala looked kind of sleepy. She needs another day off, I guess. Don't worry, Kamala, you're going to have all the days off after November 5th. You can take the whole 20 years off, okay? Hope I never have to see you again. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? <laughs> Imagine a mother living on food stamps. Imagine a mother who's making minimum wage trying to feed children. They're killing us without killing us. Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind. All right, guys. Today's the last day in Georgia to vote. If you're going to go Tuesday, make sure you go early on Tuesday. Do not come out 6.30, 6.35, standing in line, all right? 
Tuesday, get there early as you can. I believe it's 7 o'clock a.m. Get there and vote. Bring a friend. All right. And we'll see you on Wednesday. Cheering for America.